Hello everyone, back at you again with another beer making video. This time we're going to do a kit from Grape and Granary out of Akron, Ohio. This is their IPA kit and here's a shot of the sticker and I paid $40.39 for the kit. Anyway, let's see what's in the box. First thing, specialty greens, number four. There we go. Get a bag of assorted goodies. We'll go over that in a second. I went ahead and pre-opened it so I could, <laughs> for ease of videoing. We'll come back to that. Here we have dry mold extract. This is a one pound pack. And we have whoa, a three pound bag of dry mold extract. And last but not least is another three pound bag of dry malt extract. Oh, actually this is a different type. That's number one. And this is number two, whatever that means. Anyway, two three pound bags. A one pound bag. Specialty greens. And let's open up this little bag of goodies. Bittering hops, number five. Cool. Aroma hops, number six. A whirl flock tablet. Of course, our yeast packet. Here we are. We have a bag of priming sugar. Sock and an instruction set. There we go. So that's the ingredients in the kit. Looks like it's going to be a good kit. And on a side note, I've upgraded from my turkey fryer <laughs> that I brewed my last batch in, that big pot. I went ahead and upgraded myself to a nice 20 quart uh, stock pot. So yeah, I'm going to dedicate this stock pot to beer making only. Oh, we don't have to worry about food contents and all that happy stuff. Anyway, there's our kit. Time to get to work. Thanks for watching. So right now, we're boiling two gallons of water. And we're at 118 degrees. My little setup here. And we'll come over here. Need to bring that to 150 degrees, and we'll add our steeping grains. Getting ready to put it in the sock here, and we'll be steeping that for 20 minutes at 150. So that's the step right now. Let's see how that goes. All right, we're 10 minutes into the the steep, and it's getting pretty dark. Looking pretty good. Smells fantastic. Still holding about 177. I think it's it's definitely cooler. I mean, I can have my hand on the side of the pot, so I know it's not really that hot. But uh, I've been stirring it about every five minutes or so, um, tapping the bag, making sure it's getting lots of fluid throughout the grains. Go from there. Nine more minutes, and we'll uh, take out the the steeping sock. Add two more gallons of water and bring it back to a boil. We'll go from there. Okay, so I just added the three packs of dry malt extract and uh, bring it back up to a boil. Note to self, once you start pouring in the dry malt extract, uh, don't let it fall fast. Do a nice consistent flow from the bag. I, uh, <laughs> I let it fall in... Um, I pretty much tried to dump the whole bag in at the same time. And um, the characteristics of this when it hits the water is pretty much it turns into concrete. It gets, it gets pretty uh, solidified instantly. So I poured it in kind of fast and it went everywhere in the stove. 
So um, I probably lost two tablespoons of dry malt extract and made a little bit of a mess. So I'm going to add a little bit of priming sugar just to make up for the difference that I have here. And uh, just note to self. So once you start dry, once you start pouring the uh, dry malt extract in, just let it flow in. Don't let it come out in a clump. Anyway, bringing it up to a boil. Thanks for watching. It looks like it's alive. back at you with the last video of this series brewing this IPA from Grape and Granary in Akron. I uh, just got it in a bucket here, put it up in the closet. It's going to sit here for probably two weeks. This is going to be its home. As you can see, I'm right around 74 degrees. Came down a little bit. I added a little bit more cold water to it and stirred it well. I uh, brought the temperature down a bit. Put my airlock on there. As you saw in the last two videos uh, my daughter was sleeping there wasn't any audio I wasn't speaking but um, starting gravity was zero about zero seven zero eight percent is what it estimated it's a little bit high I think on the instruction sheet it said zero six seven somewhere in there so it might be a little high no worries but uh, I think we're good to go so for probably two weeks here we'll let it go we'll let it ferment and uh, we'll bottle it. I'm not going to bottle yet. I got a bunch of bottles, of course, and got some 40s. I might try to bottle in a 40 this time. Get a big old 40 ounce IPA. So I might do that in one or two. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be back when we bottle.